basically, I'm obsessed with watching room tours and apartment tours. I think they're really fun. So I wanted to make one. And for some context, um, it's spring semester now and we moved from old crusty 60 year old dorms into these like brand new dorms that have a lot more space. So I was like really excited to decorate and make it like super duper cute. So that's what this video is. It's uh, me showing off my dorm. I'm gonna do a quick little before. My guitar falling was a great start to this. Okay. You walk in, it's disgusting. I'm not gonna lie with you. There's the bathroom, wow. Um, yep. Woo, yeah, that's the shower. There's, um, there's, hi, hi. There's a lot that needs to be done. Um, <laughs> very obviously. And then you get into my actual room. Um, I still have a lot of unpacking to do. Okay, first things first. Yes, my hair did all fall out from a couple videos ago. I wish I were joking. It's, um, also, it's 3 a.m. Um, because I slept for like six hours in the middle of the day, but woke up at like 11 because I am actually naturally nocturnal. Despite that, I did get up. I did do this cute little look and get dressed in the middle of the night for my dorm tour reveal. This is the bedroom. Let's start with this corner. This is my freaking little mirror setup. It is the classic Target mirror that every person with a college dorm has. But it's got some cute little freaking leaves around it, so I think that I'm outside, even though it's actually snowing outside. Well, over here we have my guitar, my psyche, who I value deeply. I love him. He was a birthday present. A couple years ago, I value my life. He's very great for hugging and for adventures. I have many other stuffed animals over here that I also love very deeply. Some plants. Over here we have Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse poster. This is my favorite film of all time. This poster is disgusting because it was crushed because I've moved it now like four different times. Some more leaves because I am a basic bitch who likes TikTok and has been coerced by the teens to get the freaking TikTok leaves to put on my wall. Oh my god. I was about to say I am a TikTok teen, but no, I am in fact 20 years old. I think I already mentioned my guitar. His name is Lincoln. He's very precious to me. Do I play him very often? No. Hopefully I will play him more now that I'm in this cute little suite and hopefully I won't feel like anytime I strum him, everyone on my entire floor can hear. I don't know why the plugs in this room are in the middle of the wall on all the sides, but they are. So this is just the situation we have. Um, it's plugged in. Cool. That's that corner. Let's keep going. I'm sorry, I'm talking like this. I feel like this is how you do tours. Mini fridge, microwave. Both from Walmart. Neither are plugged in, actually. Because um, in my old dorm, we didn't have, they didn't give us like a fridge and a microwave. So I just have my own, so I brought them with me. But they gave us freaking our own in these dorms now. So like, now I just have two fridges and two microwaves, and these ones are just kind of chilling here. I'm plugged because I don't really want to waste energy by putting them up if I already have some in their own designated corner. So they're just here. So over here we have my freaking little friends. These are my little gummy little friends, squishies. I love them. Um, I got them as little sticky toys to chew on. Um, but they were too cute and I did not want to ruin them with my teeth. So now they are decor and I have other stingy things. Also, I can't really chew because when I chew things, it triggers my um, teeth grinding in the middle of the night when I sleep, which is very unfortunate and bad and I don't sleep well. This is nothing. Um, Cheetos. This is what you guys wanted, right? Cheetos? Cheeto tour? Cute. Okay, here are my skate plushies, you know, the one from the unboxing. They're over here right now. Sometimes I take them with me on adventures, depending on what life is like. Like I said, there's snow outside. I took Longa so he could see the snow. Yes, I'm insane. This is literally just some ribbon that I cut, and because it's actually from my friggin' cherry blossom cosplay, but um, I'm not cosplaying right now. So there's friggin', it's um, 
it's I tied it in a bow and now it's on my wall <laughs> because I like putting things on my wall so I don't look at them and see the blank white slate and go insane which does happen <laughs> um here's a little alien from a freaking RA event I did and if you don't know I'm an RA we do events sometimes we did an alien scavenger hunt it was fun this is from shop my violet they are cool and they have cool clothes and when they, you order clothes from there, they send you this cute little card. I have two of them because I've made two orders from there. They're cute. I love the art. It's pretty. I will try and link the artist if I can find it. He. My string lights, which I have stolen from the RA lounge because I am a thief. They are just taped up with masking tape. It looks kind of ugly, but we're going to pretend like it doesn't. This is my lovely little wardrobe area. Um, I'm not like a huge fan of these wardrobes just because it's like not tall enough for all my honey things can actually fully be hanging so there's like wrinkles at the bottom but it's fine i guess it's free well i mean it's not free i pay like money to live here but um it's it's here so i use it um okay so i have a story about this ideally i would like to leave this open all the time and i would have if these could open all the way back, I would open them all the way back and have it tucked in so you could just see my wardrobe. It's, it's not just because I want to see them clothes and like freaking be like, oh my god, aren't they so cool? Although that is the truth. <laughs> but also because I have very bad um, visual memory. And also I don't, I, if, what's it called? Oh my god, there's a word for it. But basically, unless I see something, I kind of forget that it's there. And so I kind of forget what clothes I have sometimes, and then I wear the same things every day, and it's boring and sad. So, by doing this, and having at least one side open, I can always kind of have a peek of my wardrobe. And I'm like, oh yes, I have this lovely pink sweater. Maybe I'll style this today. It's nice. Um, yeah, so I usually have it like this. So I have a little peeky peek inside. Right here. In this little bag for a school I do not go to, I did get into the school and they did send me this bag, but um, I could not afford it. So instead, it is my bag to hang my little belts. It had this belt in it. It has this little rainbow one. My freaking my e girl, my e girl belt. Um, this cool little chainy, chainy belt. Yeah. And here I have my pants and skirts. They go here. It's nice. I they're not like super organized, but like it's cute enough. You know, it's fine. As long as I know what's in there. I like to keep my closet mostly in rainbow order. Like I go from like red, which is obviously mostly pink, to friggin' where'd you biv? And then I have like a rainbow section, rainbow crazy section, and then I have black and white at the end. So that's what's going on here. This is Yuriel. This is Yuriel. Um, he was indeed born to make history. Look at him go. Um, Eros, not Eros, was the other one. Agape, mm-hmm, Skater King. I got this from Amazon, I think. I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger, but it's actually, really, and I thought there was gonna be more than one, but it's just Yuriel. It's fine. Um, he hangs here. This is my desk. First of all, my caboodle. I love this thing. It's gorgeous. It's huge. It has all my... It has... It currently has all my makeup in it. Oh my god, that's actually my hair. That's actually disgusting. Hello. Um... I wish I could explain, but I'm just... I'm really sad that I had to cut my hair, so I'm just keeping it around as a memory that I used to have hair. Um, let's pretend that's not there. Um, this is... It's got my makeup. I don't do makeup that often. But I had enough where I wanted some place to store it, so I got this big tool and it's gorgeous and I love it. And it's got a cute little freaking thingy and it's so convenient. It's the most convenient store. Look at what's behind the cool. It is my jewelry case. This is not convenient storage actually. It looked really cute. Um but it doesn't actually do a great job of like things don't stay hanging on the little hanging part and there's not really that much room in here for actually all of my jewelry to be. So I do want to get a different sort of jewelry situation, but I also don't wear it that much. Probably because this case is bad storage and I can't see anything and so I forgot I have jewelry. Hence what I said like five minutes ago. This is just a little pencil case. It's got like my freaking cute little markers in it 
for when I like to do markers in my sketch. Oh my god! Oh no, the cap came off of this! Where is the top? Oh! Oh no! Oh no, is this dried out? That's so sad! Oh! Oh, it's a Posca, so I just have to press it in, right? Okay, we'll, we'll figure that out later. That's sad. Um... Oh! There are my pa- I was looking for these. My pink scissors. I prefer these to these. Because they're pink. So I'm gonna put these in here and have those there instead. Oops. Eehee, <laughs> secrets. I like this because it's shaped like a rainbow. Let's just be real. It's simple. It's a rainbow. I love it. This is also has a rainbow on it because I'm insane. And um, you are gonna notice a lot of rainbows in this room. This is a theme. I like them. They are cute and homosexual. This is my like actually everyday pencil case. Usually this is actually in my book bag. Um, it's got pens and stuff in it. No, it's a pencil bag, you know how, what those are. Um, it's, if you're like, this is kind of gross, it's because I kept it in a gross old bag with charcoal in it, and it's got charcoal on it now. This is just a mirror for what I want to do my makeup. I just use it to do this cute little look. Very fun. Um, use it, this needs to have to stay up, so whatever. This is my flower fidget spinner! I love, I love this thing. It's a fidget spinner, and it's a poppet. And it's shaped like a flower, and it's pink, and it's the best thing I ever own. And also, I just watched the Pixie Lux video where she had this exact same fidget spinner, pop it thing, and I'm just like, we're so connected. I love it. Um, these are cups. Cute little star cups. They have water in it. I like to leave water in it for when I need to paint. And also, sometimes I make mistakes, and it's good to have water nearby to just clean things up. This is a little caddy. It's just from Amazon. It's just got a lot of miscellaneous stuff in it. This is just tape for taping up things, like this whole thing. This is a little turtle that one of my RA friends made for all of us. We all got little turtles. It's it's a little, what's it called, origami turtle. It's very lovely. I love him. Uh, I need to come up with a name for him. Do you have any names you guys can give me? Um, over here behind this, I have my crystals. I love this one the most. It's all heart shapers. Oh, it's good. Thank you. Oh, wait, actually, I love them all. This one's look how pretty this is. It's a little, it's so sparkly and rainbow. I think it's just, I can't remember exactly what it is, but it's cute. Here's a little rat. Again, you're like, why is that rat disgusting? Well, first of all, that's so rude of you. Rats aren't disgusting. That's so offensive to Remy. Secondly, again, he was in the same bag as this guy. So there's charcoal on him, and I've washed him many times, but charcoal is oil-based, so it does not like to come out. Um, he's still, I love him very much still. He is from Spirit Halloween. Pink Caddy from Dollar Tree. You'll notice, a lot of my stuff is from, like, either Amazon or Dollar Tree. The caboodle was from Amazon too. I I like things cheap and expensive. I'm sorry. I don't like Jeff Bezos, I swear. Um, more paints, just plain craft smart acrylic. For when I decide to be an artist, which is not very often as of late. Um, desk lamp from Target. Again, it's a classic constant one. It's also kind of disgusting. It's okay. It just means that he has a lot of love and use. Skeleton. This is Brian. There's, I have a lot of Brian's. Okay, so there's four Brian's. All of them are spelled differently. This is Brian, like, number two or something. Um, B-I-R, but how do you spell Brian? B-R-I-A-N. I think that's what Brian this is. I'm pretty sure. Um, this is him. He's cool. He's from Dollar Tree during Halloween. I do most of my shopping during Halloween, Valentine's Day, and Easter because those are my three aesthetics. This is my laptop, and we are going to do a quick laptop sticker tour. So, laptop sticker tour. Oh wait, there's something down. Okay, and here's Hatsune Miku. Here is Luca. I love her very much. This is a psyche that I drew. Halloween from Dollar Tree. I promise you, I don't lie about these things. <laughs> this frog was a gift from my lovely friend Emma who I value very much. Um, this are so Eater stickers I got from Etsy. I will put the artist's name if I can find them. <laughs> um, that's from when I voted for freaking um, Bernie in the primaries. He then dropped out and then we have Biden. <laughs> um, there's a little heart gem from Michaels. This is a little Steven because I love Steven Universe. This is from Redbubble. I will put the artist. These are Ricky and Manga. Obviously, I love skating Vinny. Um, not from Redbubble, it's from the artist shop, I will link it. This is from SVA again, I don't, I just like stickers, guys. I know, I not go, I don't go to this school. Um, it's fine, I have been attacked for having an SV sticker. 
SBA sticker and a SCAD sticker when neither of these are the colleges I attend. But you know what? It's a sticker! Stop judging me! Stop it! Stop it! It's just a sticker. This is from freaking an escape room I did. I thought it was kind of cool. It's like, I broke out. Let's keep going. This is popcorn when I get hungry. No need more to explain that. My headphones, which are this ugly army green, and I pretend like they're not every day by putting Sanrio stickers on them. I will probably paint this if I decide to be an artist one day, and I'll make it paint. <laughs> How many things have I dropped in this video? Can we get a drop count? This is the remote to my LEDs. They have, it's like a sound machine too, so you can do like ocean sounds or bird chirping or whatever. I just do like the fanny sounding one because I need it to sleep, and it's very helpful. Um, almost dead here. Here is my, is a half-eaten Lunchable, because I was hungry. <laughs> um, and my diet is actually similar to that of a young boy. <laughs> this is my, my Prozac. <laughs> I don't really know. Finally, over here in this corner, we have my sticker collection. Okay, so, okay, so first, here's this Christmas candy I've been working my way through very slowly. These are some watercolors I never use because I'm not an artist. And then my stickers! I have so many cool ones. I love stickers very much. Here are some flower ones. And oh, I, I mentioned my freaking Hello Kitty, my Melody freaking ones. This rainbow I got from a con. Stars. Uh, slightly different stars. The rainbows. Sometimes I like to put these on my face, but it's because we wear masks all the time now, I haven't been putting stickers on my face as much, and it's really sad. Um, but I still keep them for the one day when I can bring them back. And underneath that is my huge thing of Himi gouache that I did not think was going to be this huge. Um, and I, I actually did need to get them for class. So I bought them like six months ago and I still have yet to, I've used them one time since. But this semester I'm finally going to be a gouache girl again. So that's my desk. Above my desk we have various things. So this print, this print, this print. And one that you're gonna see in a minute are all from the same artist. Um, I'm terrible at remembering artist names off the top of my head, so I will tell you now in editing me will. Um, um, that's solar art. I I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not a bad influence. It's just art from Tumblr that was pretty, and I printed it out because I wanted to do the cool little TikTok wall thing. Um, I will link the artist. I'm sorry. It's just for me. Don't do that. Don't be like me. Um, this- oh my god. So, I took French class in high school, like three years in a row, and I really, really love Le Petit Prince. It's a really lovely book. I did- I did cry when reading it, and when I went to this store in Wilmington this past, uh, summer, they had like this little book and it had little prints that went with it, and so I got this little- the little freaking this one, and there's one on the other wall too that I'll show you in a bit. He. Um, this is more just friggin' aesthetic stuff I stole from Tumblr, I'm sorry. Shot my Reddit, like I mentioned. I ordered some stickers, I believe, from Etsy, and it came with- this was like their little business card, and it had Leo on it from Premiere, and it was cute, so I picked it up. Uh, more stolen Tumblr, right? Hee hee hee. I'm gonna pretend like this is that. Oh yeah, let me explain. This is Banana Fish, Banana Fish, your name. And this is Adventure Time! Uh, it's cute. And so I put it on my wall. Hee <laughs> hee. I like the Candy Kingdom. I like candy. Ba -ba 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 -ba! Okay, we've panned down now. Down here are more clothes. Like I said, I like to have my clothing open, sort of, so I know what clothes I own. Underwear. Maybe I shouldn't open that. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't be annoying. Here's a disgusting wig cap. Anyways, that's what's down here. This cat blanket on my chair was from my lovely friend, Mary Louise. Um, it's beautiful and it has cats on it and it's very cozy and I love it very much. Hi, hello. This beautiful rainbow blanket is from, you're never gonna guess, Dollar General. Ooh, not Dollar Tree this time. It is from a dollar store. And it was so beautiful and it was literally like five dollars and I'm so lucky. Oh my god, I love this throw so much. It's beautiful. It has clouds and rainbows, which I both love very much. My bed spread is from Ross, actually. I don't recommend getting this one because the like little stuffing inside gets clumped together really easily and I have to manually go in and like pull it apart so it doesn't all become like one massive ball. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. 
stuffed animal tour. I love talking about my stuffed animals because I'm a little bit insane. Have I mentioned that, that I'm insane? Anyways, um, this is Sophie. She is my, probably my oldest stuffed animal. I found her on the street when I was a young child and I was so taken aback by her beauty that I took her home and nursed her back to health. And so now she's mine. She has been for like 12 years. I love Sophie. She's lovely. This is my rat. His name, his official name, this is like, you know, these like little tiny pets. If you know stuffed animals and you like into them, you've seen this before. They have the glittery eyes. I like have a love-hate relationship with them. Like I kind of love them, but I kind of hate them, but some of them are really cute. This is one of the cute ones. Um, he's a little rat. I have, I like rats. I had a rat phase, if you don't know. I, I never really loved my rat phase. I still love rats. Um, he's cute. His official name is Miko. This is Callum. He's also pretty old and oldie. He is a little bit, um, disgusting. I, he needs a good wash and a good restuffing because his neck is so floppy. Do you, do any, does anyone watch those TikTok accounts where they just, like, nurse all of stuffed animals back to life and they put, like, little hearts in them and it's really cute? I want to send Callum to that because I feel like he would come back looking so beautiful and gorgeous and better than I could do it. Um, so maybe one day. He's beautiful. I love him the fourth print I was mentioning earlier. This is Teru from Mob Psycho 100. This is from a con, a very sweet LGBT stand. Had this little heart and this thing. And they had a freaking the lesbian mini flags. Those are hard to find. Most people either have the wrong flag or they just don't have it. But she had it and I was very happy. And so I got that and this and that. Um, that's from, I think, a wig I ordered came with these. And they're like temporary tattoos. But I just hung it up on my wall because it's cute. More stolen art from Tumblr. I'm sorry. Um, this, I wish I remember. I'm sorry this fell off the wall. Oh my god. It says, I have a spot to table my story matters and I think it's very inspiring and cute. And I like it. And I really wish I remember where it was from, where I got it from. But my memory is terrible, so I don't know. This is from Lucy and Yak, another good, sweet, sustainable fashion company. More pom poms from Easter because, again, that's when I do all my shopping. Yes, these pom poms are from Dollar Tree. This is my latest guy. I just got him from Walmart. He's a Valentine's Day little dragon dinosaur guy with little teeth, and I love him. His name is Froggit because he reminds me of Froggit from Undertale. This is the one Squishmallow I have. I would love to have more, but I am picky about the ones I like, so I don't have very many. Oh my god, he definitely has a name, and I'm definitely not in love with it right now. But he's very cute, and he's like actually like a freaking webkins. Like he has the webkins one in his foot, and I never really played webkins as a kid. But like, isn't that cool that I just like found one? At... Yes, I get my stuff in all the stuff with Goodwill. Shh. This is another gift from my wonderful friend Mary Dee. She got me this beautiful little sort of cloud, and, and and if you click this button, it lights up. And this big boy is Sebastian. He is my cub buddy at night. We are legally married. I'm someone who's trying a lot of sleep. Like I have insomnia a little bit, um, which is why I'm filming this at 4 a.m. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I don't sleep very well and I have a lot of nightmares, but it helps to fall asleep when I have a lovely little panda to sleep with. He's very lovely. Here's the Zodiac poster. I'm into astrology. I'm gay. Of course I'm into astrology. That's not a secret. But here's underneath my bed. It's not exciting. There's just my stack of beanies, my like three book bags. Oh my god, look, this one has subway stickers on it. Remember when I had a subway server phase? You don't, but I do. Oh my god, that was a thing. When are they bringing that show back? Oh my god. Um, my freaking laundry, which is toppling over, but the laundry machines in this building don't work yet, so I can't do laundry yet. Hee <laughs> hee. And just a suitcase that has a bunch of flowers on it that I could probably hang on my wall, but I'm lazy, so I'm not going to. And then all this empty space. Cool. This is the last little bit of my room. You can't really see it. I'll have you all. But here's that other Le Petit Prince quote. It says, the earth is not just an ordinary planet, which I think is really sweet. And I hung these vines by it as like a memory to be like, the earth is wonderful and beautiful and we should love it every day. <laughs> um, normally there's two vines each across from it, but they like to fall. And I'm too lazy, frankly, to put them up. Um, so sometimes I do have my floor and that's fine. Down here I have my shoes. Um, how many of these do I wear on a daily basis? Almost none of them, because most of them are kind of an ordeal to put on. I wear these pretty often. They're my most sturdy boots and they're padded on in the inside and they're really comfortable, so I wear these all the time. This, and this, and my demonias, and my why are you shoes. Um, 
I don't wear it that often because it kind of nerdy though and not very walkable. I'm soggy. I'm fake alt. I'm soggy. But they look really cute lined up against my wall, so it's fine. The decor, it's fine. Hehe. <laughs> oh. And in case you're wondering, my rug is purple and fuzzy. Here's my cheeky little almost a bathroom. My sink area. Here are my face masks because we are in a pandemic. Here's my pick because I have hair. Here is my freaking hair mask conditioner that I use so that my hair stops falling out like it did. <laughs> I'm still not over it. It's fine. Oh my god, there's a hair right by my camera. Can you see that? Oh my god. I hope not. Um, here's a little heart-shaped basket. Dollar shoe. I got two of them because I love Valhaize and hearts. And they were cute at a dollar. So I got two for a dollar. Um, all my freaking like, hair stuff is going to go in here. I don't know where half of it went because... Um, Moving is hard. There's sink stuff. Here are some hair gummies because my hair was falling out. Have I mentioned that enough times? My hair is falling out. Down here, I'm just gonna hold this, um, is my secret drawers. But this is really stupid because it doesn't, this looks like at first glance, oh my god, it's a shelf. But no, it's just the floor. Over here is my other fridge area. Like I said, they gave us a new fridge and microwave, and my light plates are just kind of stacked there. They're all from like freaking Target. Um, this is not exciting. I, again, I eat like a small child, so there's some Pop-Tarts, Pepsi, and chips. Mm-hmm. What's inside my fridge, you ask? Pepsi and Lunchables. Mm, yeah. So, that's it. That's my, that's my room tour. That's my dorm. This is where I'm gonna live for the next couple months. Before I inevitably decide I don't want to pay for on-campus housing and try to find an apartment or something for friends. And then make a video for that, maybe, if it's cute. Which it probably will be because I like making things cute because it makes me happy. I like being happy, don't you? Thank you for watching. If you like this video, subscribe and watch some other ones. And do them like and comment. Please comment. I like comments. Interact with me. Comment what your favorite part of my dorm is or suggestions for how to make it even better. Thank you. Yeah, good night.